Hello YouTube, Chester Boy here, and welcome to day four of my 12 Days of Geesman special. So take a, take a look at the Deluxe Zombie Raised Buckle and Raised Buckle Holder set from Comrade Geeks. This is a set that comes with the following. We've got two Raised Buckle Holders, one Core ID, in this case the Buffa Core ID, and the Zombie Raised Buckle. So yeah, let's take a look at this Core ID. This is the second one we got in. This is the second Core ID. Of course, the first one being the Gates, which came exclusively with the, de with the Desired Driver. So yeah, so of course it's a plain, it's a clear purple accordion with got some orange here for the uh, tempo graph, and of course we got Cummer Buffa's um, logo on it. And you can tell Buffa is a plain on buffalo, so that's me, which makes sense because you know since of course you know Cummer Buffa is of course a buffalo or bull themed common rider. So yeah. Next we take a look at are these these are the race buckle holders. So basically they're both they're two holders that they can that can attach to your belt. So now normally there would be like a clip or something, but but this time there is no clip. Like you would like you would clip on the side like this, like like the old like old camera belts. But no, not this time. This time you have to you have to feed the belt strap through the thing in order to in order to attach it. So yeah. So for so for example, uh, let me bring one of the belt straps out. Oh, one of the belt straps out. So basically, what I mean is that. I think in the like in the old days you have to like you have to like you could just slide in like this and that's it. But no, this time you have to slide them through in order to attach it. So just a little example. Now basically, as it came to the name, they can hold race buckles. In this case, let's let, let's say you can put in a small race buckle. So all you do, you slide this in, and there you go. And of course, you pull it out. And of course, you can simply just pull it out. Now there is no button that allows you to release the race buckle. You just pull it out. Now what this does, now there's the button right here, but what that does, it rotates the it rotates this section right here. So so if you want to like pull out like a weapon, you just rotate this and you pull it. So which okay, for example, the Magnum Shooter 40 X, which I forgot to point out, that has like a little has this little this thing right here. We we can actually slide in, you can slide this into the thing. So like that. So so you can actually pull the, the gun out at an angle. So do like this and pull it out. So there you go. So just like that. So and of course in order to in order to rotate it back to its original position, you just hold this down and you rotate it down. So there you go. That's how the race that's how the race buckles hold the uh, race buckle holders work. Now let's look at the meat at the meat of the of the set. The zombie race buckle. So you can see it's mainly purple with some orange um, accents. Of course, we've got this little semicircle thing here, which has which has lightning bolts on them. Um, of course, here's the back. Here's the pin system. And of course, there's the QR code for the Gone Rising game. And to activate this, you twist this, and a zombie hand pop and a zombie hand pops out. Pretty cool. And of course, there's some more orange um, metallic orange paint for the uh, claws. So, yep. And of course, you can tell. And they, can, they can tell the flaps that resembles a rib a rib cage. So, pretty cool. So, yeah. Now let's bring in the, in the desired driver. Okay. So now we're not going to be Cumber Gates this time. No, we're going to remove this, and we're going to put in the Buffa Core ID. So now we transform into Cumber Buffa Entry Form. So. And with that, we can now put in the zombie race buckle to get a new form. So after that, we, we transform into Cumber Buffa zombie form. So, and of course, we'll turn this again for the zombie strike. Oh, and much like the um, was it this much like the Magnum? Now, much like the Magnum, the Magnum race buckle, this can also summon a weapon that's associated with this buckle. In this case. This race buckle summons the zombie breaker, which is, is a chainsaw sword. So there you go. Now we're gonna bring in we're gonna do um let's do we're gonna bring in the boost the boost race buckle.
So you can do Kamer Buffa zombie boost form. Or if you want to, you can do Kamer Keats zombie boost form, if you will, if you want to. But we're gonna stick with Buffa for the sake of this video. So now we're gonna do the um, zombie boost or boost zombie, whatever it's gonna use, which, oh, speaking of which, speaking of boost zombie, You can do the revolve gimmick, so there you go. So there you go. Alright, now we're gonna do the we're gonna do the zombie boost um victory. Now we're gonna do the now we're gonna activate the boost time to access zombie boost grand victory. So there you go. That is that. All right, now I'm going to bring in the Manning Shield 40X and use the zombie race buckle on it. Now, interestingly, instead of zombie, this says poison. Now, that's actually not a mistake because, you know, since zombie is a poison, that's because um, the zombie race buckle uses the element of poison. So, makes sense. It could have said zombie, but oh well. But let's try it with the rifle mode. And that's that. That is that. So overall, the deluxe race buckle and, and deluxe. Uh, I'm sorry. Overall, the deluxe zombie race buckle and race buckle hold set is highly recommended if you're a fan of Cumber Buff Up and you want to get more sounds out of Desired Driver. And of course, you want to get a new race buckle and you want to get an extra accessory or slash upgrade to your Desired Driver, which is basically you know these things for your belt for the belt. So yeah. And of course, I like could say this is a nice convenient way to store two race buckles. So. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, yeah, now there's actually two ways you can get this. One, you can get this separately, which I did. Um, just let you know, yes, I did get the set separately. I didn't get it that came bundled with the um, Desire Driver. Because, you know, as I'm aware, there was a bundle where it came packaged with the Desire Driver, but also this set as well. So just to point that out. So yeah, so basically I got the, I got the standalone release. That's what I'll say. So yeah. So yeah. So yeah, I did go ahead and picking this up if you're a fan of Cumber Buffa. So yes. Oh, speaking of sounds, you can you can get I would recommend getting this if you want to get an extra sound out of the Magnum Shooter 40X as well. Just forgot to point it out. So that's it for day four. So it's stay tuned. So it's stay tuned for day five tomorrow. So thank you for watching. What you saw, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon next to it. I'm gonna put my Twitter and my Facebook page, and links are down below in the description. So I will catch you tomorrow.